I rarely ask people to um, to share videos, but I'd like to do that now because if you have friends or family in Georgia and they're Republicans, I want to help Lou Dobbs get this message out to those people because Lou Dobbs has been one of, I mean, over the past 20, 30 years, one of the most trusted news voices in the country. He used to be on CNN after all. Go ahead. Yes, well, the American people are going to have to insist on paper ballots with real identification. That's going to be one of the well, key things. Well, that's going to be great for stop. the next. I'm, I'm not even. I'm Sydney. I've got to tell you, I'm not even going to contemplate the next election. <laughs> I'm not even contemplating the January 5th election in Georgia. The hell with that. If the people of Georgia are dumb enough after what they have gone through in the November 3rd election to then go toward January 5th and a runoff and think that changing nothing will change the outcome, then the people of Georgia aren't half as smart as I believe them to be. And I believe the patriots in Georgia should stop this nonsense now. It is not something that to be decided about uh, over who do you favor, which party, which uh, candidate. This is now about faith in the electoral system in one specific state that may control the destiny of this country. And by God, it's too important for anyone. And I don't care what party you're in. I don't care whether you're an independent. This is too important to act as if nothing happened on November 3rd and to pretend that there will be a different outcome on January 5th. It's idiotic. I love the Bernie or bust uh, attitude from from Lou Dobbs there. And also, that's my time person of the year, Sidney Powell and Lou Dobbs. I mean, they they, (laughs) time picked Kamala and Biden as their person of the year. So I get to pick Lou Dobbs and Sydney. That's your pick there. All right. Well, fair enough. And I just want to say to folks, if you are in Georgia and this has been sent to you by a uh, relative who cares about you, I, you know, I think probably Lou was, was being a little um, hyperbolic when he was saying stupid or idiot. But I think this point remains, if you're a Republican, it's hard it's hard to to rationalize why you would vote in this election when you know the whole thing is so rigged. So I don't know. People in general, I tell people that they should vote. It's an important exercise. But I can also, I guess what I'm saying is that Lou Dobbs is a very trusted source. And if you're a Republican, I can see why you might be uh, discouraged and might just say, you know, to heck with it. It's not going to make a difference. Yeah, maybe just vote next time around. Just use this time to work on yourself, self-care, watch a lot of Lou Dobbs. And then maybe also subscribe to the majority report. You could do that. I mean, and then if you did, if you did subscribe to the majority report, you'd find out that, you know, one of the reasons why you should go out and vote against the Republicans would be because of what Mitch McConnell is doing. He's preventing people from getting um, relief from an economic package in the coronavirus. And he's doing it because he wants to. um, It's really unclear. Like, I mean, he says it's because he wants to allow corporations to be able to uh, endanger their customers and their workers and not be subject to civil uh, suits. But there's not many of those suits happening. So it's hard to understand. But yeah, uh, I unpacked this with uh, Jeff Stein of the Washington Post uh, on Ring of Fire. So everybody should check that out, too. In my first episode, uh, my first interview for Ring of Fire. Emma, and I I have not told you this, by the way, but I will say this. Uh, and folks should check it out. Uh, I, I, I talked to Digby about uh, the week in the news and Emma interviews Jeff Stein from the Washington Post and Scott Milliken, who has been producing radio for oh, gosh, at least 15 years. Well, 15 years. Um, sent me a text, said that interview was great. Oh, there you go. That's very nice. I Thank meant to you. tell you that. Um, before the show but so i thought you might like to know that that's really nice 